this two layup somewhat little jump hooks with the possession and then the pass was not very good this is what the Gamecocks do well, space you out draw it and kick it to open shooter Auburn one of the higher scoring teams in the country are on the board after Jalen Williams's jump hook Jalen Williams Huge game and the win over Alabama with 26. Yeah, breakout year for the fifth-year senior. Extra pass this time. It's to Michi Johnson, and he buries the trip. When he makes one or two, he'll make five or six. Last two ball games, only one of ten beyond the three-point line. South Carolina is a solid three-point shooting team. They've hit twice from deep. There's Donaldson attacks the rim. 21-3 and three record has been one of the better stories in college basketball this year. 11th in the nation. John, they've won seven in a row. Well, one of the best with the basketball is Cooper at the point guard. But again, they've gotten several offensive rebounds. And Lamont Paris has this game where he wants it. Just a half-court set. Make Auburn make jump shots with a hand in their face. Williams, yes, and he will. And they want to put pressure on him because he'll play 36, 38 minutes. Can they tire him out and force him into turnover? There's a giveaway. Donaldson with the hammer to ignite this place. Tied up at nine. Sperry to triple to put the Tigers in front. Then Trey Donaldson, their precocious sophomore. And so they're unbeaten this season. You'll see, again, you'll see a lot of switching out front on the picks. Oh, Cardwell chases down that lay-in from Johnson. The reach, the terrific block by Cardwell. He is known, he's got 138 career. Yeah, he and Janai Broom, I mean, they make up a very vicious shot-blocking duo. Baker Mazzara open, corner three. This is Josh Gray, number 33 in the black for the Gamecocks. Johnson hoists it. Wow. That's a deep one. And he hits. He's been less of a scoring factor of late. Nice pass. Yeah, look who's cutting to the rim. Chaney Johnson with a throwdown. Since South Carolina had a 9-4 lead right out of the shoot. Aiden Holloway, the five-star freshman from Charlotte. That's good. Quick ball movement, pass down low to Williams, goes up, that's his dominant hand, got it with the left. Make sure you've got good movement. Because of the switching, you might have a few guys be able to cut to the basket. Yeah, they've got great offensive continuity, very patient offensive sequences. Murray Boyles with his second basket. Well, Janai Broom's not been very good early in this game. Yeah. The freshman of the week in nice the conference. Pass. Yeah, how about that one? Williams to Baker Mazzara, that's the second time Davis leaves the three short, not known as a deep threat. Baker Mazzara, bounce pass to Broom, puts it up, count it, and the foul. Mack, and almost dribble, too, passed almost up that too three. late of switch, Mack almost had a shot. Right on the baseline, nice that play. is a difficult find. Murray Boyles was there waiting for the catch and the hoop. Probably Mack got away in that pivot foot, or did he? Yeah, probably drove the pivot foot for quite a bit. Murray Boyles got partially blocked, that was Broom. Well, that way in comeback fashion, too. They were trailing in the late goings of regulation in that game. South Carolina, look, it's won five times away from home. There's a three. Janai Broom sticks it right in front of the South Carolina bench. We've got a lot of them on the floor. Here's a 1-3-1 defense that they will put in, handled easily. And the key to their 1-3-1 defense is Zachary Davis. Auburn team plays just as hard. And so far, the scouting report, they've stayed with it. Look at Donaldson staying in front of Johnson. That's a wild layup. That's a difficult one. An extended run over the next eight, nine minutes. The Johnson basket has it back to 11. Donaldson on the baseline. The reverse. How about the hesitation? Pass to the corner. Now up top to Johnson. Four to shoot. Johnson attacks. Blocked. As the shot clock is expiring, Murray Boyles, he picked that one up. But uh, not sure that one's going to count. Maybe the layup right here from Johnson hit the rim? Yeah, it looked like it did. Well, the only contention that you could make is, was it blocked? Pass to the corner, now up top to Johnson. Four to shoot. Johnson attacks, blocked! As the shot clock is expiring, Murray Boyles, he picked that one up. But uh, not sure that one's going to count. On the way back to Williams, he lets it go wow. for three. Now for a fifth game out of his last six. 
Jacoby Wright. Oh, a hammer rejection by Cardwell, the ultimate energy giver. <laughs> well, they're athletic, they're long, they play hard, make it tough to score. Cooper goes up with the right. It's a difficult basket. Pass to the corner, now up top to Johnson. Four to shoot. Johnson attacks, blocked! As the shot clock is expiring, Murray Boyles, he picked that one up, but not sure that one's gonna count. For this Auburn team, again, hosting the co-leaders tonight, Kentucky this weekend. Jalen Williams, red hot to start, John. He's got 13 points right at a season average. Well any team that plays in this building is going to have to match energy and so far this season. They've not been able oh, to. In the... <laughs> on a rampage. <laughs> They've given it away now six times compared to just one Auburn turnover. Oh, Cardwell, how did he get that open? And South Carolina just a bit discombobulated. Johnson now has to attack and create from the elbow. That's good. At one point you think you can get your big on the post against a guard, but you can't find him. Too aggressive by this Auburn team. Boy, a number of South Carolina shots have been wow. difficult ones. Count the basket for Denver Jones. Two to shoot on the shot clock pick for Mazzara. Got it to go. And as the timer expires, Auburn goes into the break. Almost 20 at home. And they've got the 22-point cushion. B.J. Mack is trying to back down a couple of Tigers. Cleans up his own miss and scores it with the right hand. First four minutes, whatever minutes you want to pick, are important for this South Carolina squad. Late shot clock offense for the Tigers. Murray Boyles <laughs> stays here with South Carolina. Yeah, Johnson with SEC tumbleweed basketball. Land. A little push at half court. Yeah, he did. Johnson off the window, so back-to-back -back buckets for the Gamecocks. Takeaway, Donaldson on the move, crossover, goes up, got it! The shot, the bounce pass is too soft. Donaldson with a steal, then he goes coast to coast because he's physical. Donaldson looking for Broom, puts it up, that's good. And Janai Broom now with nine. Auburn on the move again. And Auburn simply, simply knocked him out of bounds. Chaney Johnson nice. got it. Hasn't even been close. Holloway left it short. Yeah, the average margin of victory is wild, nearly 20 per win in this building. Murray Boyle's got Cardwell flying out of the way, that's good. KD Johnson has been quiet. He's got it now, goes between the legs. Step back, triple. Nearly doubling your total from a year ago. It's quite evident. Just a bunch of competitive players. So, you know, what's that competitive fire going to look like on the heels? Year one under Lamont Paris, year two. Kevin, the simplicity of sports is it's fun to win. Yeah. Broom, the Ooh. hammer. Wow. Broom tried to hit the sixth man cutting of the baseline. Now he steps out, drains a three. Coming up on the halfway mark here in the second half. It's a team again, I said it in the first half. They do not gamble a lot on defense. Wow. Boy, this defensive tenacity has just totally discombobulated South Carolina for much of the evening. Murray Boyles has been impressive from Auburn's side today. Williams starting to attack, turns, spins, got it to go. But everybody else, they've not been able to get a part of this, and they haven't had any answers on the defensive end. My Bro goodness. Berry's another three. Sonny with you know, another double-digit scoring game. He has 19 today. He has certainly been a bright spot. Gray blocks that lay-in. Coming up on the eight-minute mark inside Neville Arena. It has been a one-sided affair. So take the over is <laughs> what you're saying. Game day is going to be here this Saturday. Gray couldn't get that one to go at the rim. Auburn has certainly controlled the pace in this game. They have gotten out and run. They've forced 10 South Carolina 
turnovers. Former roommates at Moorhead State as well. So Talon Cooper uh, assured us earlier at shoot around, don't worry, uh, drive room. We took out the trash from time to time. Williams, he has really reached his potential this year. Johnson lays it in. He said earlier when we were talking to him, just more so than ever before, and I think there's that sense of urgency as a fifth-year senior. He knows what it takes to really up the ante. Donaldson, cash money. And the poise that they played with in a big game, big moment like this one. Johnson pulls up in the paint. That's good. Well, South Carolina wants to get this game over and then bounce back Saturday. You, you know, it, 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 sport is a humbling game no matter which sport you play. But South Carolina getting some late game run. There's a, just a careless pass. Johnson takes it away. Love City! Cornwell! Exclamation point! Give them their fries! I'll be stopping on the way out of town. <laughs> yeah. What a little late night snack, huh? This is Harper, contested jumper. Are they going to hit 100? That's really the only thing left on the table. And is a walk-on going to do it? Burnett knocks it down confidently. Is Harper going to be the man? He's trying to break down Ugasuk. Harper goes up. 